All right, Top Pro Racing Media. Again, we're down here at the 500 uh, Sprint Car Tour Media Day, and right now, in third place in points the last two years, we have Kyle Aguero who is with us. And so Kyle, um, when you're third, that means, you know, you're up there and you're competing, you know, with the best of the best as one of the best. So kind of tell us what got you into the sprint car racing, what keeps you staying in the sprint car racing, especially as wedge, you know, slate model racing comes around and others. And, and then we'll just kind of go from there after a little bit of your background. Yeah. So, uh, Kind of grew up in a racing family, started racing carts when I was younger and, and uh, climbed the ranks there. Got into midgets um, about 14, 15 years old and, and started racing sprint cars about six or seven years ago. So uh, we've uh, been, been in sprint cars for the past handful of years and uh, we're looking to keep climbing up. All right. So obviously when you've taken third, as I said, you're, you're a challenger, you're up there, you're doing things uh, and big things. So, you know, what track, when you look at the schedule this year, obviously little 500, you know, at Anderson, a couple trips to Anderson, a couple trips to other tracks, what are you looking forward to when you look at the schedule this year? Yeah, uh, little 500 is obviously circled on it. It's, it's the top of everyone's list. Um, you know, we have, have the opportunity to race it. Uh, quite a few tracks that, that we were excited about. Um, Kalamazoo is definitely one of them. You know, we, we had a, a midget win up there in 2014, I believe. Um, so we've been victory lane up there before. We came close with the sprint car a couple of years ago. Uh, we ran second and third with the sprint car up there and, and definitely looking forward to getting back there. All right. And then what track do you do you look at and you go like, that's going to be a challenging one that, you know, I know that we need to throw the kitchen sink at it. You know, what the, is it maybe the style that's a little different than other tracks, especially when you're going to a place like Berlin, that's kind of big and expansive. And then you go to Kalamazoo, that's tight. You obviously have Anderson, that's tight and interesting just to watch on TV. Um, you know, so what track do you kind of look at as like, that's a bucket list challenge for me that I want to overtake this year? Uh, Berlin's definitely been that track for us. Yeah, we've ran second there, the, I think, three of the last four races to the 56 car and um, you know we've chipped away at, at his wins and uh, gotten closer and closer but we're, we're still at work to do there and that's that's the, the race we have that we need to get better at. Yeah you're up on his turf when you're up there you yep. know when you get up to I think Plymouth last yep. year you guys were at and you know then obviously Berlin and you know he's won a few wedge late model races at Kalamazoo too and everywhere all the big races so um, so what's something that you know, when fans are going, where can I follow you? Where can they find you, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, wherever, to support you along the way? Yeah, fairly active on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, Instagram and Twitter are at Kyle Oguera, uh, all lowercase together. And then Facebook, we have uh, a team Facebook page with SFH Racing Development. And I post all of our uh, latest updates on there. All right. Well, again, Kyle, thank you so much for all your time this afternoon. And I know I'm looking forward to seeing you on August 23rd up at Kalamazoo when you do the Michigan double header and definitely good luck this season. Thank you. We'll see you there. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Greatness. Yeah. It feels like greatness. Woo. Greatness. Yeah. It feels like greatness.